All right, guys, welcome back uh, to another video. So this week, we're going to keep on with the fun we've been having the past two weeks and do one more week with our deck of cards. So I got our deck of cards here. Cards, once again, it's going to dictate uh, how our how our workout is organized. So I'm going to run us through our four exercise warm-up. Today we're going to be doing jumping jacks, high knees, mountain climbers, mountain climbers, and side bends. We're going to do 20 reps each, back to back to back, get that blood pumping, get that heart rate up. Move into our stretching sequence, go through those, get nice and loose, and then we'll hit our set. So our giant set today, we're going to be doing five exercises. Uh, pretty much, I think we've done all these before. I don't think there's any new ones. So. We'll just be able to focus on the task at hand. So we got side planks, we have wide grip push-ups, uh, and not super wide, just slightly wider than normal. Uh, if it's really wide, it puts a lot of stress on our shoulders we don't need to worry about. So wide grip push-ups, egg beaters, another ab exercise, that one's a little easier, so hopefully we get a little break there. We have bridges and Cossack squats. So got a nice variety today. Again, the cards are going to dictate. I will do my best to shuffle, but let's jump right into the workout. So, jumping into it, first up we have jumping jacks. Again, if you have a low ceiling like I do, be careful. All right, 20 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. All right, next is high knees. Right into it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, One last warm-up exercise. We'll do our side bends. So it's been a while since we've done these. Go through it in a little more detail. We have a nice wide base. I'm gonna just lean all the way down, try and touch my toes, touch my ankle, and I'll reach my arm up. Then do just the reverse and lean down on this side. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nine, ten. We'll be stop counting at ten. If I did one on each side. So twenty reps each exercise. I'm already feeling out of breath. Hopefully you guys are too. We'll slow things down a little bit. Get into our stretching routine. So start off like we always do. We'll just twist side to side. Try and get those pops out of our back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, shoulder circles. Going forward to start. One, 
two, three, four, five. Now in reverse. One, two, three. Five. Feeling sore today. I did a lot of bench press the other day, so shoulder stretches are definitely a good thing to do right now. Next up, we do our Cossack squat stretch. Nice wide stance for these. Drop down to one leg. Pick that leg up. Good. And then just sit in here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, switch legs. Drop down my right. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's much harder for me to do that side. Got a really tight ankle, an overstretched hamstring. If you guys find one side's easier than the other, just, you know, keep working on your your, your bad side. Keep working on it. It will come up. It will catch up. Next up, warrior lunge. So, warrior lunge on my knee, striking our you know, Captain Morgan type pose. I'm going to drive my hips forward. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, switching legs. Really drive this open hip forward. Push into that hip flexor. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yes, much tighter on that side, but it is getting better. All right, a couple more. Butterfly stretch. So everyone's favorite. Everybody likes butterfly stretch. It's the most fun, right? We do this when we're kids. It's still good to do. So bring our feet together, drive those knees to the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay. We're going to do a straddle. Uh, this time I'm going to point my toes forward. So, slightly different than toes up. Point those toes forward. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. We have two more stretches. Do our pikes. I'm gonna bring my legs together. Uh, and this time, I'm gonna point my toes up. So, just the opposite. Pointing the toes up. Bringing my chest to my knees, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we just have one last stretch. We're going to do our pigeon pose. So uh, I'm going to line up square to the camera on this first one, see if that works, and I'll, I'll turn for you guys to get you guys a couple different angles. So pigeon pose, bringing my leg in front of me, want my shin to be perpendicular with my body, and I'm just going to lower my hips down into like a sort of split type feeling. Should feel big stretch in your glute. So let's do your best. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. Oh, now I'm gonna switch. Um, I guess I'll give you guys this angle. See how this works. So again, my left side is not my good side, so it might not look as good as the last one. All right, so I bring my leg up. Oh, bring my hips back. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. oh, yes. Much tighter on the left, but it's getting a lot better. I'm starting to close that gap. So we got through our warm up, got through our stretching. Now it's time to have some fun with our cards. So let me pull our deck of cards out. I wish I could do awesome card tricks, but that's not me. So let's do some basic shuffling. We're going to pick five cards together, and that's going to tell us how many reps we're going to do. So. Let's see. Shuffled well enough. What do we got here? Four. Okay, four side planks. Got a ten. Wide grip push-ups. Queen. We're gonna do ten for our face cards. Do ten egg beaters. Another four. Four bridges. Four is also my lucky number. We'll make sure to work extra hard on those sets. <laughs> and then we have one last, we have five. So five for Cossack squats. So good mix, a uh, couple high rep, a couple low rep. I like, I like that you get a variety out of the cards. You never know what you're gonna get. So first up, we have four reps for a side plank. So it's just gonna be a four second count. And I'm gonna get into our side plank position. So. Remember, we want to keep our shoulder right over our elbow, body nice and straight, hips lifted off the ground. So we're going to do four seconds each side. All right. One, two, three, four. All right. We're going to switch on to my right side. One, two, Three, four. All right, four side planks. Next up, we have our wide grip push ups. So, again, I'm not going crazy wide. I'm just bringing my hands like maybe two or three inches wider than you know a standard grip. So, don't go crazy on this, but we're just going to make it a little bit wider, slightly different stimulus. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, and those feel good after doing chest workouts, so I'm, I'm digging it. Next we have egg beaters. So we have 10 reps, egg beaters. This one be a little bit of a mini break. These aren't too too hard. So to get the most out of these, we want to tuck our chin. We want to pick our shoulders up just a little bit off the mat. That's going to engage our core. So engage our core and do our egg beaters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to go in reverse. Ten just wasn't enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Double up on our egg beaters. Not twice as much fun. So next we have bridges. I have gone over this once before. This is a move most people haven't seen uh, unless they've done wrestling or judo, BJJ, some kind of grappling. It's a very common exercise and warm up for grappling sports, but it's also just a really good exercise in general. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to face the camera, give you guys a few different angles. So I'm going to bridge, bring my feet close to my butt. Bridge my hips up, and I'm going to reach over. I'm going to just pivot on one shoulder, reach over, come back, bridge, reach over, come back. So that's our bridge. I'll give you guys a few different views. We have four reps. So we're going to do four on each side. Feet close to my butt. One, two, three, four. All right. So, might be a foreign movement for a lot of you guys. But it's a really good one. Uh, we have a reason for it in grappling, but outside of that, it's just it's a great movement. You get your core lifted up, bridge your back. It's a really good exercise. So we have one last exercise for our giant set. We're gonna do Cossack squats. Got number five on the cards. So we're gonna do five reps. So open my legs, big wide stance, dropping down to my left. One, two, three, four, five. Now on my right side. One, two, three, four. All right, so we made it through one giant set. I'm going to pick up our cards, start shuffling this deck for our next set. So while I shuffle, get control of our breathing, get refreshed. We got at least one more set. Depends on what the cards steal us. We have a lot of high rep sets, and you know, we might not get as many in, so we shall see. So first up, uh-oh, I guess we don't want those, so I'm going to use these. Nine, first up, nine, second, side plank, ten, another ten wide grip push-ups. All right, hopefully... You guys are like me and like push-ups, so we're doing 10 and we're doing a lot. 
10 egg beaters. So again, high rep, a little bit of a break, not as intense an exercise. Five bridges, get another break there. Let's see, grand finale. Oh, king. So we're gonna do 10 Cossack squats. So this is gonna be a pretty intense set. Uh, our lowest is a five rep set or exercise. And uh, yeah, this will be a little bit more of a challenge. But that's all right. All right. Get right into it. We got a lot of reps to do. We have nine seconds, nine reps with our side plank. So we're doing nine second side plank. Get into our side plank position. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Actually, it feels a little better with nine. Four is just not quite enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Nine second side plank. Next up, we have 10 wide grip push ups. Get my nice wide stance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Ten wide grip push ups. We're, we're clipping right through. Nine, nine, we did ten. So, ten push ups. We're going to do ten egg beaters. We're going to do ten on both sides. This one's just too much fun. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. So we get our one break. We get a five rep. Five rep bridge. So let's keep giving you guys. Few different angles. I'm just gonna actually head towards the camera. So five bridges, feet close to our butt. Really elevate those hips off the ground, and we're gonna make a bridge. You know, from it's called a bridge for a reason. From my shoulders all the way to my feet. I'm gonna make a big bridge. So one. Two, three, four, five. All right, almost done. We got our last exercise, 10 rep. Cossack squat. So this is going to be a little bit more intense. This is good. We'll finish strong. So drop on down to our left. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, definitely feeling it by the end. Now, ten. 
on the right leg. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And all right guys, so we made it through a really high rep set. I'm gonna go ahead and collect these. So as you can see, deck of cards, you don't know what you're gonna get. Sometimes you're gonna get a bunch of low rep sets. Sometimes you're gonna get a set like that where like every single one was high reps, except one. So I feel a lot more intensity from that last set than the first one. That's a interesting way the deck of cards regulates our workout. You know, sometimes it's real easy. You can just crush through three, four reps, get to the next. That one, we had like all face cards. So 10 reps for everything. It adds up. As you can tell, I'm breathing pretty hard. So our challenges, you know, for next week, uh, probably, probably switch it up next week and go away from the cards, but it's been fun doing these deck of card workouts the past three weeks. Just, you know, working out can get boring. I'm not going to lie. It, it can. If you do the exact same things over and over, one, it's not going to be too effective. Your body will get used to it. You have to mix it up. But two, your brain gets used to it. Your brain gets bored. So feel free to have fun with workouts. You know, you don't necessarily have to follow a strict program. Uh, you don't have to do the perfect optimized thing. Get out and have fun. You know, uh, do exercises you like. Do some that you don't like. You know, realize that we do have our weaknesses. We have exercises that aren't going to be good for us. And while, you know, might not be as fun. Sometimes we do gotta lean into those weak exercises. But the most important thing is just being consistent. Coming to the gym, coming to you know wherever if you're working out at home, or work out at home. Uh, it doesn't really matter. The science is in appliance. So if you can apply yourself to working out, to being regular, you're gonna see results. You're gonna feel great. You're gonna get strong. And most importantly, you're not gonna get bored. You're not gonna quit working out. So keep it fun, mix things up, try, you know, try something a little random like a deck of cards. There's a lot of other ways we can organize workouts. I'm going to start mixing up our organization, keep things fresh, uh, just cause you get bored. You do the exact same thing over and over, you get bored and your muscles get bored. They stop reacting. You do the exact same thing over and over. They're going to stop getting bigger. They're stopping getting stronger. They just get used to it. So, uh, keep mixing it up. When you guys are working out, just have fun, do what you like, mix things up, give yourself variety. That's going to be it for this week. Uh, oh yeah, the challenges. Let me get into our challenges for this week. So, AMRAP challenge. Let's see. Let's do that wide grip push-up. That was that was probably the most challenging for me today. Uh, you know, partially I, I did bench the other day. My chest is really sore, but uh, actually felt quite a bit better after doing some push-ups, getting some blood in there. That's another thing. Sore muscles, you know, work them out again, they'll probably feel better sooner. So wide grip push-ups for our AMRAP challenge. And for our deck of cards challenge, just get creative. Do whatever exercise you want. Deal yourself. Five cards, ten cards, half a deck, whatever you want. So have fun. Get creative. I'll see you guys next week. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Thank you so much.